Welcome to my first lesson on IELTS vocabulary, where I will be introducing three new vocabulary terms each lesson and how to apply them effectively to get band eight or higher model responses. The first word we'll look at is the word deal. Its common definition is in noun form, it means an agreement or an arrangement. When it is a verb, it usually means to concern yourself with something or to take action towards something. It also has a few other meanings like dealing cards or a business deal, etc. But let's look at the most common ways that you can use them in your IELTS response. Different forms for deal can be deal, doubt, and dealing. They're mostly used as verbs. Here are some band eight or higher sentences that you can apply in IELTS speaking. I enjoy studying biology because it deals with our understanding of the natural world. That means it covers our understanding of the natural world. He was dealing with a lot of stress due to his heavy workload, so he had to make drastic changes. Dealing with means to be coping with or experiencing. Drastic changes means to make very large changes. She dealt with some major injuries early in her tennis career, but she eventually became a champion. Dealt with here means she faced or also experienced. This cafe is the best deal in town because the freshly brewed coffee is so reasonably priced. The best deal in town is you could hardly find anything better for the quality or price that it offers. When you have freshly brewed coffee, that means you have newly made coffee that is tasting great. Reasonably priced means at a good price for its value. Now let's look at attract. Attract commonly means to draw you closer to something or that you enjoy noticing or doing something or that something can be very beautiful or desired. Common forms of attract are attract, attractive, attracted, attractively, attracting, and attraction. Band-aid example sentences can be something expensive that really attracts my attention is a nice pair of leather dress shoes. Attracts your attention is something that you'll easily notice I find the interior of my new home to be very attractive, especially because of the distinctive furniture. Very attractive here means very beautiful. Interior means the inside of your home. Distinctive furniture is you kind of unique, nice furniture that is hard to find. My hometown is attractively situated on the southeast coast of the Mediterranean Sea. Attractively situated, it means nicely located. It's a good location. A key reason why I stay up late is because I'm so attracted to chatting with friends via social media. That means you really enjoy chatting with your friends via social media or by social media. Now, the third word, We'll look at is intense. Intense often means to be very serious or, ha or have strong emotions towards something. It can also mean to be highly concentrated on something. Forms are intense, intensive, intensely, and intensively, among others. Here are some example sentences for band eight or nine responses. I have never seen someone so intensely involved in creating art, and that's why he's well-recognized. 
Intensely involved means you're very focused on, you're almost paying 100% attention on it. When you're well recognized, it means people really like your work and a lot of people know your work. The film was so intense, probably because of a lot, a lot of, the film was so intense, probably because of a lot of tension and suspense in many of its scenes. An intense film is like an action movie that is non-stop with a lot of things happening. It can also happen in horror movies or in suspense movies too. I admire Elon Musk since almost anything related to business and innovation matters intensely to him. So if you know Elon Musk, he spends most of his day working and thinking of new ideas. So anything related to business or innovation matters a lot to him and he's so focused on. Apart from the intense heat of summer, I really love this city because it's so sophisticated and diverse. Intense me heat means very, very hot, almost painfully hot. A city that is sophisticated is very kind of modern or it's very cultural or maybe fashionable. And a diverse city could also mean as many different variety of things, like people are diverse, maybe different uh, types of people, different races. Diverse could also mean a wide range of shopping, etc. Here is a quiz that I'd like you to try to spend a minute or two by filling in the gaps. I'm going to pause this. You should pause this video if you want more time because I'm going to provide you with the answers very soon. Okay, here are the quiz answers. The workload is intensive with regular homework averaging four hours a night. Here, intensive means there's a lot of things to do in a short amount of time. The climate is changeable and trying. In summer, it's intensely hot. In winter, very cold, just like before. Intensely hot, very hot, or painfully hot. These lectures, which dealt with special subjects, attracted considerable attention. Dealt with special subjects means it covered special subjects. Involved. Attracted considerable attention means a lot of people were interested in it. It meant a good deal to him to secure a home like this. A good deal to him means it's very important to him. The food was laid out in an attractive manner on the table. Means it, the food looked very beautiful on the table. It was organized in a nice and beautiful way. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day.